what's up what's up everybody what's going on man welcome to another episode of the can you blame me podcast and just in case y'all new to the show can you blame me podcast is a podcast where we speak on hip-hop culture social issues everyday life challenges entrepreneurship and i even have friends and family on the show man and today this is a can you blame me spot podcast special edition <laughs> battle of the sexes man first annual can you blame me, Battle of the Sixes, y'all? Y'all give it up, man. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for joining us, man. So we gonna start. We gonna start right here. We gonna work our way around. I want everybody on the panel to introduce themselves, man. Hey, you want to introduce yourself? Oh, you start. Okay. <laughs> My name is Lige. I'm Sherelle. I'm Carson. And I'm Julius. For sure, for sure. And I'm your host, Raphael. It is I. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, man, I appreciate y'all for coming on, man. Um, I just figured, you know, a lot of times we see stuff on social media, uh, good topics to talk about, and especially what's been going on lately. And I figured I'd just reach out to some of my personal friends and discuss this, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I guess if we want to give a brief overview about, like, you know, Y'all want to just do a brief introduction about who y'all are or whatever. So in case people who may not know who y'all are, you know what I mean? I know y'all want to pop y'all shit, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so just tell people a little bit. You ain't got to get deep. Just introduce yourself. Um, okay. Um, once again, my name is Lejay. I am from Detroit, Michigan. I've been here six years. Um, I model. I dance. And I also work at the hospital, Northside Hospital, which is the number one hospital in Atlanta. Oh, okay, 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 for sure. All right, my name is Sherelle. I'm from North Carolina. I've been living here going on eight years. Um, I work and I pay my own bills. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, shout out to all the um, pay your own bills out there. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Carson. Uh, I pretty much live at work Monday through Friday. You know, uh, when I can sit back, chill on the uh, weekends, I come like to kick back with my boys and things like that. But um, yeah, man, cars is really my thing. So if, I, if I'm, you know, on the leisure point, I like to pop the hood and get up under the, get up under that well, thing. Nah, for real. My <laughs> boy, yeah, uh, my boy. And last but not least, we got my boy, Jew, man. Yeah, I'm Julius. Call me Jew. Uh, down the road a little bit, about 45 minutes. What it is, no? Yep, uh, yep. About 45 minutes, man. Um, doing my thing with my sneaker, reselling. Uh, checks over strikes on Facebook. For sure. And I'm like my man Carson, boy. I live in a, my jam. Nah, for I'm real. Like all the time. For real. So, hey, man. Hey, we just everyday people with, you know what I'm saying, everyday situation, real people having a real conversation, man. Yeah. See what's going on. And on that note, we going to get straight into it, man. So, why y'all so toxic, bro? Whoa. We learning from you guys. Oh. Hey. I forgot who, I forgot she got that. She come back with it. I can't even catch y'all guard, bro. So we gonna get into it, man. So like, who is more toxic, man? Females or men, man? Like, you talking about you learning from us. Why? I'm gonna ask y'all. We gonna ask first. We just gonna go through proper protocol. Who do y'all feel is more toxic, men or women? So, um, in my opinion, I feel that it's mutual. It depends on the situation and the person. Oh, that's real. Um, I can't necessarily say that it's a, a man or a woman because a woman can be in a relationship and she can be manipulative and the man could be a liar. At that point, both of you guys are toxic. So okay. that's why I said that it could be either or depending on the situation. That's real. That's real. I like that. Man, Good media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You Can you agree to that? I can. Okay. But I... Um, I think the men have the upper hand because most of the toxic traits that women, they normally pick it up from men. Like, 
It depends. It depends on the situation. Okay. Okay. But yeah, okay. I know a lot of toxic um, men and women. Okay, for sure. What about you, my boy? Uh, I kind of, I kind of vibe off that. Um, in the sense of, I feel like uh, disrespect is breeds toxicity. So, if you know, if the norm is, you know, you talking to me this way or you talking to me that way, you know, you can, I believe in shooting from the hip. So it's just certain things that a man and a woman just shouldn't tolerate from one another. From the minute I say, "Hey, my name is such and such, such and such," just for my standard. So it's almost like, what's your st- what's your standard of, I guess, human connection in the sense of what you will and won't do or what you're willing to deal with. So mm. I think we both kind of play off one another. And then, you know, if if I don't want you saying that, then if I don't want you saying something to me, or you don't want me saying something to you, I should be able to rise above it and be able to say, "Well, shoot, if I want to really kick stuff with this female, or she want to kick things with me, then." Uh, we keep that 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 boundary of mm-hmm. I ain't you know I ain't gonna cross it. With there you go, there you go. That's real. That's real. What you think, my boy? I want to hear about it. You know, yeah. I think of people in general, mm-hmm. but you know, I I think us as adults don't set boundaries. Don't, yeah. You know, you start talking to roller coaster jacket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, without understanding, I think, you know, a lot of people will come talk to, to the next person. Right. You know what I mean? I think it's people in general, you know what I mean? That's real. Yeah. That's real. Yeah, yeah. Um, Are we all willing to share a toxic experience? Yeah, we getting real. Y'all willing to share a toxic experience? The one that y'all can share, you know what I'm saying, from, um, uh, you know, maybe a dating relationship, you know, that y'all might have had. I I started off. I started off. This was a long time ago. This is back like probably about two thousand years ago. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody used to talk to man, bro. They literally, and I'm not even trying to brag. This only thing coming to my head. They literally would hide my keys, and literally hide my keys until we had it. I promise I'm not. I promise to God, I'm on everything I love, bro. Like she was one of the ones to where, you know, like basically a hood rat, bro. You know, always trying to damn fight or be aggressive and you know, like provoke me to where I kind of implemented physical reinforcement. But I ain't that type of person. But she feel like that's how you gain your respect by like you know, get get your ass over here, bitch, all that shit like that, you know. And I was like, bro, I ain't even trying to play no type of game. But Shouty would literally hide my, and I ain't going to say, I ain't, hey, it was my fault too. It was my fault too. But that was one of the most toxic experiences I ever had, bro. You know what I'm saying? Was it an understanding? Hell no, I wasn't an understanding. No, she used to, man, bro. And like I said, the first time was on me. But, yeah, I went back for a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went back for a second. Yeah. But that ain't all she did though, bro. Then when I went back for a second, this fool tried to trap me too. Damn. Yeah. Tried to trap me too, bro. And literally, like, without being too vulgar, like when it's time and I say, hey man, you know, time. <laughs> time, nigga. She would not get up, bro. <laughs> and she literally put her weight against me. Use the laws of what you call this shit, gravity. And, yeah, bro, put her weight against me, bro. So, hey, anybody that watching this shit, bro, they know me personally. They know my hand on the bob. I'm not making this up, bro. This ain't just for. Yeah, I'm. I'm so serious. Shout out, literally tried to trap me, bro. And I had, and I had told her I was going to. Oh, uh, this is doing 911. So I told her I was going to um Iraq. And <laughs> that's how. I, and at, get yeah, at first she didn't believe me, but I stood on it. And I said, all right, no. <laughs> all right. You hear from me via mail, hopefully. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, from that's how I was able to get up out of that situation, dog. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to say this, bro. I ain't going to say, I'm, I'm with y'all for real. I'm with y'all when y'all say, you know, you gonna, it depend on the situation. It depend on both sides, both parties can be kind of toxic in the other, but DJ, in my opinion, y'all, when when y'all are hurt or scorned, y'all are very creative, manipulative, and vindictive, and y'all can go there. Yeah. 
y'all can go there. I'm talking about y'all can do some shit. It be like a like a like a, maybe like a six month drawn out plan, bro. Y'all just like strategic. y'all do surgery with that shit, bro. Mm. I would say that. Would y'all agree to that? Y'all and another thing, y'all ain't got to pick my side. Yeah, if y'all disagree, just let me let me know. Yeah. But would you say they more like you know when it kind of pushing buttons and doing stuff? It depends yeah. on the female. Like, I'm not a toxic female. Like, if someone do something or screw me over, like, I'm like, okay, bye. Like, I'm not that type of person that'll go and try to flatten your tires or yeah. do all that type of stuff. I'm just like, okay, bye. Right, right, right. What about you? Um, I think being older, I'm not toxic when I was younger. That's before toxic was even... The, the thing, the, the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like when I was younger, like you know I didn't um, bust out windows and slash tires, but like I was the type of person whereas, like I had this mindset like don't play with me, like if Uh-oh. I call you and oh, you don't yeah. answer the phone, I'm outside. You outside? Can I answer outside. the phone? No, 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 no. Because my thing is, but that's how I caught my niggas up. Mm. Because you 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 not answering the phone. Why you not answering the phone? So it's a I look. Pop up. It's I don't a care. I'm popping up. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to pop up, and then I'd be like, okay, car outside, lights on. I'm outside. I'm calling your phone. I'm outside. Still ain't answering. I'm at the door. Open the door. At this point. Oh man. So at that point, when I was younger, I was toxic. Like, oh fella. I don't care. Glass, so okay, so was you right though? Was your intuition right? My intuition was right, but you know, like I feel like probably in the beginning it probably wasn't. Right. I was probably like maybe assuming because it was just like maybe it was an insecure thing because I was young, but it ended up my intuition was right later on. But Damn. I mean, I was toxic like that. I didn't care. Pull up, or if you say you post something, you like, oh, meet me at a uh, club blue or whatever the club is. I'm at the club. Period. You with the shit. So. I'm with it. I'm at the, oh, I ain't seen you in a couple days. You want to play? Oh, you going to Club Blue tonight? Mm, let me get fine. I'm in there walking up to your booth. What's up? How you doing? So let me ask. Hey. Ask away, Julius. <laughs> ask away. I'm, I'm speechless But right I'm saying now. you call that toxic. I felt like that was toxic because it, it probably wasn't necessary. And I feel like when people are toxic, I feel like it's, you're, it's not necessary for what you're doing. Mm. I feel like you should be able to tell the truth and not be toxic. Like I feel like if you if you want to date somebody else, you don't have to be manipulative and try to turn it on me and make it seem like I'm doing it. And then you're being toxic as well because you're being a liar. Yeah. Just say, you know, I want to see other people. You do what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. what's that? That's toxic to me. You know what I'm saying? Some day. things are unnecessary and it becomes toxic because, like I said, you manipulating me because you making me feel like I'm doing something when you're covering up what you're doing. Yeah. You got a point there. Mm-hmm. And you being a liar. That's that's toxic. Okay. Tell the truth. Yeah, yeah. Then you won't have a toxic situation. And tell them the truth. I think what happens is, as a man, especially if you want that, that, that likes to um, keep your woman happy, I guess you kind of you kind of feel like, well, if I tell this lie, then I was just about to I'm say telling that. her I'm I'm protecting her in your mind at the time. That's why you're lying, which is wrong because it's it's manipulative and it's is um it's just not right. It's not right because if it was on the other she was on the other foot, you'd be pissed off. I mean, you'd be riding up and down the street. I don't roll up and down the streets, you know, trying to find out what's going on, you know. And um, it is I just feel like truth just got to be that it, truth and respect have to be. The basis of what we doing, man. Because if it's not, then it's going toxicity can just it'll creep up on it. It'll creep in a relationship, and don't, and then like at the same time, like who who lies to their friend? You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real, lie to their friend. You know, like if your boy catch you lying about something, bro, you you gonna be like, man, you got that, blah, 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 blah. you know, right, right, right. you know, you gonna feel something. So it's like, why would so if if you also are you not just really trying to be with this woman, you actually befriended her in some, you know what I'm saying, like that, then you kind of, you can kind of gauge yourself, you know what I'm saying, I I'm, I relate a lot of stuff through cars and stuff like that, but if I have something to gauge myself on in the sense of how I'm treating this person or how I want this person to feel through my own feelings, 
well then you know we can work we can work through that you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. it's, it's always something that we can build towards you know right but if, if you being so selfish i mean love ain't selfish like not selfish friendship not selfish you know so it's just like you just got to consider the other person man no nah, that's real i'm gonna say this too though bro like mm-hmm. at the same time though if you ask me hey are you seeing other people you know and i say yes i am a lot of times we may not get the response we want you know because y'all didn't get the response y'all want and y'all can become toxic off of that even though we told you hey bro this was going on. This is understanding. This is just that. But that ain't always just this for y'all. You see what I'm saying? Y'all still know how to turn it up a notch when when things kind of come into play. And that's why I say in that aspect of it, it's still being sometimes you can't, I ain't going to say you can be too honest, but it does have consequences. You see what I'm saying? But then that also goes into um, the type of person that you're dealing with. That's true. You know, because – it's going to be a different response from different people. That's real. You know, like, I'm the type of person, like, give me that option. When you telling me the truth, give me that option to figure out if I want to stay and deal with it or if I want to leave. Then you got other people that's like, oh, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. It, whatever. It is what it is. If it I is. catch you with her, it's you and her. That's both yeah. my ass. Nah, that's real. It, it depends mm-hmm. on the person and how they take the situation. Right, right. Know? And that's why I said it's a mutual thing because men can do it too. They sure can. Because yeah. You, you can sit here and ask me, am I dating somebody else? And I say, yes. And yeah. you can be like, fuck it, I'm gone. Or you yeah. can be like, where that nigga at? We about to pull up on him. It's You're like, right. You know, so yeah. it can go either way. Yeah, we, we can be insecure. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, it, it, it depends on the person and the situation. That's real. That's real. All right, that's cool. Y'all yeah, like that. I like that. I'm, 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 I'm out of it because I thought... I'm thinking toxic, like you know what I mean. Somebody that won't get me, keep me from growing. That you know can be saying? toxic, yeah. I, I, I'm thinking that way with the topic, but um, I'm gonna change my answer, and I'm gonna say we more toxic. Okay. Than women. I you agree. Know? I think that you know what <laughs> I mean. Like if you, if you think about it, you know who usually get hurt first. You start in high school. The 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 girl in high school get hurt first. Messing with the football player, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> everything that happened after that is, the, you know, that one dude done tarnished. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So everything that comes along after that, you know, and what we have to do, we have to up our game as it goes along. You know what I mean? Right. Just, uh, your game got to evolve. So I'm gonna say us. But you know what, Julius? One. I'm gonna say too. That same time when you were in class and you talking to this one girl and you like her and she's the light of your world or whatever, and then. You know, you get outside and playing basketball with the other fellas, and you like, you know, Ashley, and you hear them talking. It was like, yeah, man, I had, you know, she was on my spot last night, and you like, you know, you like, no. But no. then when that's when you supposed to get out of the situation. That's when you mm-hmm. po- don't put yourself in the competition. You know what I'm saying? Leave that alone. But I didn't know she was that. I didn't know she was like that. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So now from that point on, not from that point on, but if I meet a couple more females like that, I'm thinking they wholesome and they, you know. Girl next door type stuff, but a dude got her to that point though. You think so? Okay, I forget that. You see what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. It, it, it took it took one to get her to that. That's point. real. That's you real. I remember we used to use the term, man, he turned up hot. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, me just being, I just think of that. You know That's what's up. Like, yeah. I feel you on that. So look, speaking of toxic, toxicity, um, what y'all think about this Lower Harvey situation? You know, um, for y'all who don't know, you know, um, Boozy in particular caught a lot of heat behind Lori. And um, Lori is the daughter of Steve Harvey. And the story got out to where she's now dating Michael B. Jordan. Y'all familiar with him? Mm -hmm. Uh, They went through her catalog. I think she dated Diddy, Diddy's son, um, Akon's brother, um, Future, and now Michael B. Jordan. My thing is, so I, I see mixed reactions on social media. Some people saying, hey, she just not settling. She know what she want. And she will, if if you don't check her boxes, gone. That's literally what it said. Gone, gone, gone. Yeah. So they looking at like she a lady who know what she wants. She know her value. She won't settle. And some people saying she's just a hoe. Like you out here getting the father and the son and the Holy Ghost. You doing it all. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm looking at like, I understand because she in that light. It can look a certain way. But I think what's a bad look for her is, Man, bro, you done had my dad too. 
So is she a hoe or is she just a lady with standards, man? Okay. Or anybody in that situation? Okay, so this. how old is she? She's probably like 22, 23. So she's she's young. She's Let's out look there. It up. I've been wanting to do this. Life. So most of us, like when I was in college, hey, if I went out with a guy and I ain't like him, I'm not going to be like, oh, so I didn't went on two or three dates. Um, in the past three months, oh, I'm going to just stop dating. No, I'm going to just keep like, having fun. Every time you're on a date with someone, that doesn't mean you're actually having sex with them. Yeah. Like, with, you said Akon, was it his cousin? His brother. His brother. His brother. How you know she was she dating 24. him? So how you, like, just because you see a female with a male, that doesn't mean that they're actually a couple or they actually had sex. They probably linked up. Like, you don't know. Is Michael B a simp? No. If he like her, then it is what it is. Like like I said, I know some females from back in the day that had a long list and they're married now. So it, Damn, it don't is do, uh, what it is. Yeah. I'm going to go with uh, something different. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look at it like um, what's the common denominator? Every person that she talked to got money. She chasing the bag. She chasing the bag. But she already got her bag. But that don't mean nothing. That don't. Yeah. She added to her bag. Uh, so she, she, so she, she's probably looking at it more so. What can I get out of it? And it, it don't necessarily have to be love. But if you look at everyone that she dated, every last one of them got a check. Every last one of them have a check. She chasing that bag. She young. She wants the money. Or it could and, be the status. That's what I'm going to go with. That's what I'm going to go with. Status. Status. Yeah, status. 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 But like status. I said, everybody got a check. But how yeah. are they getting that check? Because they, uh, they're they of some type of status. They, yeah, that's what she wants. She wants to see. Michael B. Jordan, yeah. he's an actor. The yeah. son. You know what I'm saying? The the brother, he related to Akon. So, you know what I'm saying? Akon is probably the type of person that gives him money or he, he got his own money. He just talking to Mike. Talking. He might not be in a limelight. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's why I said... At the end of the day, the common denominator to me and my thing is, and, and some people may think that she's a, a hoe or she just trying to, she, whatever. My thing is, the common denominator, she chasing that check. How we know they not chasing her? Like, they probably in her DMs. After me That's gave her true. the shout out, then it was like all the guys was posting her, oh, I got a crush on her. Because before that, she was dating normal dudes. So I'm like, how we know the guys, they not chasing her. I'm but, just saying, okay. as a female, and the things that she like, like, for example, you know, I like my Gucci and my Prada and whatever, so I'm not like that, but if I see somebody that can get it for me, I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> but at that expense, though, bro, you going through the family, though, it, what about your fake car? What about your reputation? Like, what about your integrity? You dig what I'm saying? Like, why you got to go through the family, literally, the, the dad, to even if you is chasing the bag, like... At some point, we got to have, like, morals, you did, And that's why, so if you present yourself that way, you can't get mad at people who take it the way you present yourself. You see what I'm saying? So to me, DJ, my personal opinion, no, nothing against Michael B. Jordan. You know, I know I know the lady love Michael B. He ain't hating at all. But for me, in that situation, I think it's simping, dog. Because you know what I'm saying? Like, you done been through this person, that person. I think what do it for me is the dad. And the son. I'm just thinking if I'm talking to a girl, and I really like her. And then I look I look through social media. I go through her archives with it. And I see my dad up in that thing. That's disrespectful, bro. You can't be daddy? sleeping with huh? Who the daddy? The Puff Daddy. She slept with Puff Daddy and um, Justin. Son. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. You your daddy's son. Yeah. Right. Puff Daddy ain't got no cane. <laughs> huh? Puff Daddy ain't got no cane. <laughs> so that wasn't a rumor that she was dating the son? Well. No, man, man, look, man. She dated that man. She dated both of them. That's Did the only. Trey, uh, date Trey too? I forgot about Trey. That's what I'm talking about. I knew it was another one. I was like, hey, bro, we on camera. Don't leave me hanging on camera, shout <laughs> And Trey, bro, come on. And, and look at the amount of time. I can't pick up my internet on here. I got to hire somebody for this. Dang, man. But for real. I'm for real, bro. Now, now see how the. That kind of changed the ties a little bit. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying though, you 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 got one that don't got a pass on it. You know, Sierra flew through the industry. Mm. She flew through the industry, and and you can call Michael B. What 
Russell, yeah. Russell Wilson. Yeah, can you call him Russell Wilson instead of? No, but, not, but, but see, with Russell, I respect Russell, bro, because Russell just a stand up dude. You know, he. I'm he, saying what make Michael any different. I don't. Sierra didn't run through that. Sierra didn't run through no. Man, she got on left future and you know, Russell Wilson. That's but that, but that see, got she bigger. upgraded. Yeah, the she fact got bigger. You know what I'm saying? But it's that just one person Sherry though, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like we ain't talking about Michael, Sean, Justin. Akon brother, Trey, like, and then it's public, so it's public business. Like, okay, yeah, she had future. He was toxic within itself, and that one equal a hundred, maybe. But she was like, you know what? I can't keep dealing with this. It's time for me to settle down. And then she went to church and made Russell. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But you see, know? I ain't the one to go on the. You know, for me, I mm-hmm. looked at the future situation like, bro, start making music about her. You know, so he feels some type of way about her to me because he was making music about her. You know, the man start that when he started singing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I'm you know, when he started singing, and you know, what I mean, status. We said status, like. For him, it wasn't about the award shows and all of that. That was she wanted. She right, was, right. He said that in the music, like right. She wanted the status. You know what right. I'm saying? He just wanted the money. Yeah. So it was like. So you don't. So you would say you don't think that's simping, then? You know, if he if he fall for it, that's him. You know. Yeah, you know? it definitely him. It definitely him. Yeah. You know, but everybody. Think, I'm like you know, Russ though. I think Russ good dude. You know, you know she ain't yeah, for the sure. right one. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Yeah. That's the same cycle with that Sierra went through. Right. You know, I think a lot of folks give Sierra a check on that one. For, I can't put Sierra people. in that category. Not with, not with uh Lori. Not not Lori. Lori out here savaging, boy. She's slaughtering gang. But like she say, we don't know all the details. But that's true. You know but but one detail we do know, you mm-hmm. still yeah. you kept it in the family. Family ties. Well, we don't even know if that's the end, though. <laughs> yeah. Huh? We don't even know if that's the end. What you like, mean? What, what talking about she may go back to just No, I'm saying like we don't know if she she with Michael B right now, but that don't mean that that's it. Exactly. She's only 20, you said 20. 20. 20. 20. Yeah. I believe it's the beginning. You right. It, it may yeah. be the beginning. She may go through a few more. You know what I'm saying? It, I mean, you know, you never know, you know, that might be that could possibly be the last one he might put a ring on, you never know. But if she feel like if she she don't want to be with him or whatever, he probably not the last. She might got two or three more coming. Right. Because, see, it ain't really about him. It ain't really about her. It, it ain't really about her. It's the people that chose to be with her. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If they know this your track record, like you said, that's up to them. But how, how that may look or how people may in, interpret that, that's also a thing. So it, I can't get mad at me how I look at it. You know, if I see, you know, um, some I ain't going to use none of y'all for no example, but some y'all young lady in here, and I just found out about me, Carl's and Andrew done had her. And then my boy right there ended up wifing him. That's on him, but it's going to make him look some type of way. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, but see, that's what I think a lot of us get mixed up at is, you know, Brett could have counseled Sierra. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, shoot, I go find me a white girl with no children. And you know what I'm saying? Make me some big mixed babies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he he loved her. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, you can't worry about what nobody say. That's true. That's you know true. If you love her, you that's if right. You love that's real. You love her. You know that's what right. I mean? At the end of the day, and I and do nobody, respect. Ain't nobody calling Russell a simp, so don't call Michael B. no simp. I feel you. Know what that feel. We but Sierra didn't have everybody in her business. That's that. See, that's what I, I, I like, said. You Sierra don't know didn't what have Sierra everybody is. in her business. Everybody going off a of future. But my thing, yeah. look at him. He's toxic. Like he got. Eight, nine baby mamas. So I'm yeah. like, yeah, and his do. followers, they, oh, if he, like, seriously, they believe everything he say. Like, that's their <laughs> their favorite rapper. So they're going to believe everything that he said about <laughs> Sierra. <laughs> she could not believe everything. No. I'm, 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 I don't either. Yeah. Trigger, no, trigger. Pow, pow, pow. But, no, but let me say this. All the men that's coming from, going, um, coming for Harvey, Sierra, they toxic too. They got about five baby mamas wow. and everything. I'm like, look, but Bootsy, yeah. don't how many kids he got? I, I just feel like do what make uh, you happy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, she want to hold around, hold around. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right, don't right. come my way, but right. you know, <laughs> You're right. do your yeah. thing. Yeah, don't do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> y'all just made my point. You hear what they say? <laughs> no, that's, yeah. that's what I'm talking you know about, though. Do what you do, but don't. But why y'all? Why, why are you saying that? Don't come my way. 
Yeah, that's just me, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. That's why we can't bash her. That's why yeah, I was I like, everybody, they just either. need to mind their own business. I'm like, if you're toxic, why are you coming for this little girl? Yeah. She's not that's a grown girl. woman, though. Well, this young lady. Yeah. You know, I'm like, all the guys that she with, they claim her or whatever. Yeah. They making her the main thing. So I'm like, at the end of the day, hey, right. it is what yeah, it is. But he just made yeah. the point, though. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So when people feel like that and say, mm-hmm. hey, bro, nah, stay away from here. And she may take offense to it, or friends, or whoever may take offense to that, or somebody asks why you ain't talking to somebody like that, and that's they answer. You know, you got to understand where that come from. Yeah, that's but all. Half the time, that female don't even want to talk to them anyway. <laughs> it's about the bag sometimes. Yeah. It's about, like, it's too, and though. it's not that. It can be a rich guy that want to talk to her. She can still turn them down. But see, you got to look at the haters too. Yeah. You you got the people that's mad that. They want him and can't have him now, mm-hmm. and they mad because they want her and can't have her. Yeah, that's you real. You know what I'm saying? So that plays a part, too. That's you know, real. So you, you got people that's hating on both ends. Yeah, that's true. Like, why you with her? Why yeah. you with him? Why you with him? Yeah. You know, so that, that plays a part, too. So those people are toxic, too, because right. they mad because, and then my thing is, what makes you think that you was going to be able to have access to them anyway? Oh. And I I say this though, you know, at the end of the day, she, even if she is hoeing, even if we may consider her hoeing, at least she getting paid for it. A lot of y'all hoeing ain't getting shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at least she doing it, the the, the profit and monetizing her hoeing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that bad. That, Every continent. Hey, yeah. for real. That's for real. So, well, hey. I ain't never wrong. With that. And y'all man, I mean, she living her life at the end of the day. Yeah. She living her life. Yeah. I just want to know the flip to it. If a brother, what if a brother do that? They do it all the time. Yeah. But we held to it. If it was, if the shoe was on the other foot, how would would he be? Would we? Uh, would she be considered a simp? If 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 the brother was going on, he had a long list of women. Maybe not even had no uh, got no baby mamas, but he just known for you know doing his thing. What is it then? Yeah. So Cause you know it. black men don't cheat yeah. when they swear yeah. black men cheat. I'm saying, but 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 women got but women got out there now that I believe the man still hold around the way he do because so so many people bash them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. With Sierra, you know what I'm saying? Like okay, so they gonna make me this person? Why don't I just keep doing it? Or he you know was that person before they was together. My thing is this. Sierra probably thought she could change him because she was Sierra and all the other females were just regular females. They didn't have a status. Mm. Some females or think that they can change a man. If the man is not ready to change himself, like you you can't change him. Oh. Yes, He's gonna really. have to do that on his own terms. So she they was engaged, had a child and everything. And I'm telling you, man was singing to that woman, man. Well, honey, he should have been singing her <laughs> while she was pregnant. Oh, remember, <laughs> remember that him and Kanye made the song? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, for real. For real. Yeah, nah, he was in love, love, man. He That's real, up. though. Oh, like, at the end of the day, it's... Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Get it over with. Yeah, man. <laughs> like y'all say, at the end of the day, it's their decision, though. You know what I'm saying? It's how they want to live. They live their life. You dig? I respect that, you know? But like you said, I ain't going to come my way. But I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. We got one last topic. Yeah, we got time for one more topic, man. Um, I was talking to somebody, and um, they they brought this up. How you feel about? I'm gonna give. Let me see. Let me use an example. Let's say I asked one of y'all. We talking, and I asked one of y'all for a pic, but not just any pic. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, let me see what that ass looking like. You know, let me see something. Let me we'll see what you got going on. And you be like, uh, nope, you ain't my man. You know, we ain't in a relationship. How y'all feel about, you know, sending pics to somebody that y'all are not exclusive with? How y'all feel about that? Or request, um, us as men, if if the lady say, like, you know, I only do that for somebody I'm in a relationship with. And for y'all, if he asked that, how you feel about sending him something like that and you're not in a relationship with him? How y'all feel about that? I'm not sending no new pics to the way the men set up these days. Like I'm not sending no new pics just to anybody. Like mm-hmm. if it's my husband, you can get all the new pics you want. But if I don't trust you, I'm not sending no new pics for them to end up all on the internet. Like right now, the like it's just ridiculous. Like revenge porn and everything. I don't have time for it. They even have like on the internet like where. Guys, they get mad at the girls that don't want to talk to them, and they have like Instagram pages where they just send the nudes and all that stuff. I was like, uh-uh, I'm not ending up there. So if I don't trust you, 
or we're not in a relationship or anything, I'm not sending you nothing. You can get a selfie and a bra, but I ain't sending nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sending no new photos. Um, well, with me, um, I, I've been on that side, being blackmailed, um, because I'm the type of person like, okay, I have before, you know, if I'm talking to you heavy, I might shoot you a pic if I'm buzzing. I felt cute, sent you a little picture or right, whatever. But right. I'm real selective now because I was blackmailed. Mm-hmm. And they made a whole Instagram page. See, nigga, yeah. dudes like that I be mean, messing it up I for the good people. I feel like, you know, that was something that I sent to you personally for you. And now I got a whole Instagram Pity page. Mm-hmm. See how they messing up the culture. And then yeah. I had someone make an OnlyFans. Mm, Off of your pic that you sent him. I, I mean, this this was this was just recently. I was blackmailed like I a year and a half ago. About it. But somebody just recently made an OnlyFans page. I mean, I don't know what the hell was on it. You know, I don't know if it was somebody that had pictures from me from the past. But they replicated my page, and people was DMing me like, "Yo, this what you doing now?" And I'm like, "What? It's, it's nine o'clock in the morning. What you talking about? That's like, crazy. you got an OnlyFans?" And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Baby girl or boy, whoever, they posted, like, how much money. They had made, like, $1,000 from me being, like, from that night to, like, 9 o'clock. And they didn't give you no money. And you ain't getting none? Mm. <laughs> well, I got the page, you know, took down because it was, like, they had me blocked. Oh, mm. man. So, it was people telling me about it. And I'm like, what are y'all talking about? Because I didn't have access to it. So, I had to go on my backup page, which they didn't know I had, to see it. But, you know, I didn't want to go as far as, like, the, the whole going through the OnlyFans and linking your card and all that other stuff. I didn't want them. They already got personal information in the yeah. now. So, yeah, I've been on both sides where, Dang. you know, it was somebody I was talking to heavy. Yeah, I seen you a flick. You know what I'm saying? It may not be new. It may be just a sexy picture. Yeah. But I ended up being blackmailed. So I'm very selective. Dang. Very selective. That might, ha- that might be the answer then to why a lot of female feel that way. Yes. Yeah, because uh, it was yeah. like, you know, you, you waking up and you got people in your ear. Talking about, oh, this what we doing? And I'm mm. like, what, what? You know, they sending me the page. They sending me pictures of myself. And I'm like, how did that even get on the internet? Because me being a nice person, all right, me feeling sexy, seeing you a picture. Now I got a whole page. It went viral. Going viral. Damn. Being black. That's now. crazy. What y'all think about that, fella? Nah, it's petty, bro. You can grow up, man. Put your, put your pants on for real, bro. Mm. Tighten up your boot straps, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean... What you do with me or what I do with you is that's for us, man. You know, and so like you can't. And then the black man, I mean, come on, bro. Like, oh, you ain't he ain't got enough going on in his life, bro. The he black ain't getting no ass. You know, that's that's kind of <laughs> messed up, bro. Yeah. Like, you know that? I don't know, man. Like, you you jacking it up for the rest of us. That's you really, really are. You know, yeah. About something. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, wow, man. Uh, but shoot, I had a female man. She sent me. I ain't want to fool with her no more. We was together about a good three, almost four years. No, about three years. And uh, I didn't want to be with her no more. And so she wound up, it was real weird. It was very, very weird. But uh, she wound up uh, talking to some cat at my job. So I was like, oh, no, uh, I can't do this. So um, she wound up sending me a video of her doing what she doing. And I'm like, okay, you did that, but you think I'm, you think, you think that's going to make me want to deal with you? Like, nah, man, like, you know, and I'm, I'm like, you... You really putting your, you really airing yourself out there in a way where I ain't got no respect for it. With the dude? Yeah, I don't know who it was. Then she came back and told me, oh, that wasn't me. I'm like, I don't care who it was. You know, you you, you ain't finna, like, you really wasting your time calling me and, and all this. Right, right. Pulling up on me and stuff like that. And that's when I just was like, man, like, you keep pulling up at this job, bro. It's going to be bad for you. She toxic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, like a real issue. You know? <laughs> she was toxic. She was toxic. You know? but she was, was toxic. Crazy, bro. So, like, the whole, the whole pics and things like that, I don't want to get off into it, man. Because, you know, it, 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 it can if you ain't solid with that one person, nah, for you real. come back to back the pie on yeah. so many different, you know, levels. So, no. Nah. Nah, man. I feel you on that. What about you, Ju? <laughs> Man, we talking about toxic people and <laughs> <laughs> Steve Harvey, dog. <laughs> hey, man, I had to come up with something, bro. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> I um, I done did my show. You know, come, you know, my years, I done did my show, and um, I had got to the point where I'm like, look. 
I'm ready to sit down. I'm, you know, I'm ready to sit down. Now, the person I was talking to at the time, she was very toxic. And, you know, like I said, I'm going into it with a positive mindset, you know, try to be open and communicate with her and stuff like that. But the feeling got involved, and I, out of all the horn I done did, you know, it's like, dang, you got feeling now, bro. You know what I'm saying? You trying to straighten this up. And I end up being the guy to blackmail. You know, straight up. You know what I'm saying? So it just got, it, it was there, and I wanted her to hurt. I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to hurt her back because I felt like I had wasted my time and did this and that, you know. So it was a toxic situation that I should have walked away from. But at the same time, I used what she had given me as blackmail. Not damn, that, you well, know what I'm damn, that's real, but it take a lot for you, know, you to kind of own up to it, though. You, you know, know, I respect we, I'm saying we got past it. Yeah, we, nah, you know, for we real. Got, we was cool after that, you know what I'm saying? She kind of understood where I was coming from, you know what I mean? But, you know, I, I done been on both sides of the fence, you know, just going back over everything we've been talking about. You know, I've been a toxic person, you know what I'm saying? I've been the person that's trying to do right and, you know what I mean? You got that, I guess you, you know, that track record with you. Mm -hmm. So everybody look at you a certain way, but you, you know, you kind of settle and you, you know, I'm going to do right and bam, like karma come back and get you. Right, you know right, what I'm right. They come back and get you. So, man, for sure. Yeah, but I don't been on both sides. So, and then, you know, to this day, you know, it's just, I don't want them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't send, don't send me no news. I ain't got to have no Right, news. right, right. I mean, you know, I ain't gonna get out. I ain't gonna send you none, and you know, leave Step it at that. Step yeah, you know what I'm saying. That mm -hmm. was the goal. So for sure. Well, look, y'all, we finna wrap it up, man. At the end of the day, you know, if you horn, that's your business. If you're toxic, keep t being toxic. You know, ain't got nothing to do with us. We yeah. just here. Yeah. You know, we, we ain't on it. And um, yeah, yeah, what it is, man. I appreciate y'all coming on, man. Before we get up out of here, I want y'all leave the people y'all social media handle, man. Dreamcatcher underscore um, LJ, but it's spelled with a J instead of a D. Oh, um, what's my IG? Um, Miss M S Perry underscore eighty seven. I think that's it. My boy, I know you be low key. I don't really see you on there, <laughs> yeah, but if, yeah, if, if you eighties of eighties underscore coop. Yeah, he be low key. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just follow me on Facebook, Julius M. Rowe. You know, go like that check over strike. For sure. Check over strike, y'all. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all again for tuning in for another classic episode of Can You Blame Me podcast. Hey, can you blame me, man? We not just a podcast. We a brand, y'all. We gone, y'all. Yep. Yes, sir. <laughs>